Hey everyone, welcome to our new video. Today we are going to share with you a little bit of our practice. We're going to do a little bit, we're going to work a little bit on the second movement of our Mozart Sonata because a concert is coming up. Yeah, and we have to just practice it. And so we thought we'd record it for you. And this second movement is quite unusual actually. Usually a second movement is a moment of peace between the first and the third movement, which are usually quite fast. But this second movement actually has its own very fast section as well. So that is something very unusual about this piece. Yeah, and we have to always stay alert actually with... Uh, because the, the piece starts very nice. Can, can we just show them how yeah, the, sure. the piece starts? And so on. So this, this, as you can, as you can hear, it's a typical second movement. Very peaceful, very relaxed. Uh, we have a walking pace, andante. And then what the Vira mentioned, it's perhaps nice to show them actually mm -hmm. what yeah. happens. Let, let's play from bar twenty six, yeah, sure. and then they can see the transition to yeah. the actually yeah. the fast part, which which you just mentioned. <laughs> see it's quite exciting moment and it doesn't last that long actually it lasts for just a page or so something like that then then it reverses it goes th this difficult part goes to actually uh, me I have to do it later and um, maybe that would be a great actually thing to practice a little bit yeah I since think you so. mentioned it yeah. let's yeah. let's just start with that That's because that is the most difficult place i think of this uh, of this movement and uh, dimitri just meant uh, mentioned echoing that the i first have this uh, this fast passage and then he has this fast passage that's actually um very common for this period of composing in the classical period four hands uh, pieces were usually echoing each other. So if uh, Dimitar has a melody, after that I have the melody. It's actually a very common occurrence in this period of time for four hands music. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see approximately this tempo. We usually combine, we do different tempi, but let's just start in this tempo and see how, how it works at the moment. Yep. Let's do it directly from there. Okay. directly from my part, mm -hmm. which is in 36. Mm -hmm. Sorry. We have to be very well together there. Yeah. No, Sorry. we're not together. Yeah. When you come back, it doesn't come exactly on time. Yeah. in my part. Yep. Okay, 
But what has to, what we have to achieve in this movement, I think it's not so to not be so static. And then mm-hmm. it will become even more difficult. It's I, I find that this section of the, the, the piece is like we said, like a second movement, very relaxed, mm-hmm. very peaceful. But then it comes this middle section that's very restless. And I think it's not only that it's faster, mm-hmm. but it has to have some urgency to it. So we can't afford okay. to just play that's fine it sounds fine but we want it to be more than fine so we have to have that urgency that for example I see when I have my passage you see there is always a wave of going a little bit forward the same is So you actually, I cannot do much with the theme as well as you cannot do much with the theme. No, the person lot, who does yeah. the accompaniment has to yeah. bring that okay. urgency. So when I have that, and you have to do it. Yeah. Okay. And if you keep it static, then my note also remains static. Static, yeah. Okay. And then we don't have the urgency. That's interesting. I actually was struggling a little bit with the understanding kind of what is this section doing here like what do we make out of it but um That's if i need to is, play it more urgent then i think that yeah, uh, yeah i'll try that this out. section is just not a, not restful it mm-hmm. brings you this discomfort and urgency and nervousness and i think that's that's okay. what he um that's what he probably meant with it i don't know the story exactly behind this and if there is even something left as a story behind this but it's it's obvious that that something is happening that that's nerve-wracking that is that is really uncomfortable yeah from the actually very comfortable beginning it is a very shall relaxing we, uh, thing shall yeah. we try and see if yeah. that the best try with this work? idea in mind yeah yeah not of course over the top no but because it still needs to be light yeah. urgent but light okay let's give it a shot from there mm-hmm. yeah but then too loud no you don't come on time on ti-da-da-da-dum Okay. We have to be really together on theme. Yeah. That sometimes we are just not matching yeah, very well. Okay. Okay, so we're not together again in 36. Mm-hmm. Let's work on that part again. Um, yeah, maybe directly. Maybe one bar before because maybe the yeah, transition you can do your passage is what is difficult. Yeah, do also. the passage. <laughs> separately after that uh, after we stop with the video just that we have a little bit of um, slow a little bit of slow practice Mm -hmm. after the video we're going to um, practice this a little bit extra because what I feel is necessary now and what we tell our students a lot is if we keep on playing it only fast I think that's the idea we get the idea what it has to happen but we need to definitely do it a little bit in combination with slow practice in order in order for it to balance out very well and before we finish the vlog I wanted actually to play for you a little bit the opening okay. the opening until this part without any repeats so they can hear yeah. and also for us just to see to get this um, nice actually second movement what it is about because the majority of the second movement is actually quite peaceful. Yeah, that's true. And so yeah. let's let's see how it sounds.
No, at all. In 12. Let's do it from 11. So as you can hear this and immediately you can see that once we start practicing there are immediately details that have to be fixed But we'll leave that for another vlog of course because I think we had enough for today <laughs> We'll just go and work ourselves and um, Yeah, thank you so much for watching if you like the video if you enjoy our videos Don't forget to give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can help us grow here on YouTube You can also follow us on Instagram we try to upload there as well. We also have a Facebook page, so feel free to follow us wherever you like. And if you want to hear us play this movement live and all our other program that we're preparing, actually we have a concert coming up. You can check our website. Uh, the concert that's coming up, I think it's almost fully booked. So For those of you who are in the Netherlands. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, for It's almost fully booked, so just be on time if you want to reserve. Thank you so much for watching, for us recording and sharing our practice with you. It was a great pleasure and we'll see you next time.